it's me, Stormy, and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the full moon coming November 22nd, 23rd, depending on where you are in the world. Either way, it's going to be at zero degrees of Gemini, our mercurial energy, the messenger God himself. Now, here's the beautiful thing, first of all, about a full moon, is that a full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So, at the full moon, we've got the lunation at its peak, right? Energies are at its highest, biggest, brightest, right? So stuff's going to come out. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad stuff, but we get information. We see things. Things come to an end. Whatever needs to adjust, we're able to see it. Now, having it be in Gemini, which is a Mercury-ruled energy, this is so phenomenal because we're thinking, right? Mercury is our communications, decision-making, thinking, patterns. Um, it's a very business-savvy kind of energy, and it is moving. It is sharing information. This is a connection energy, right? That's the beauty of an air energy like Gemini is. It's like I'm moving, you know? I got to see a little over here. I got to see a little bit over here, right? Not to mention, at a full moon, the sun and the moon are opposite, and we're going to look at that on the chart in just a minute. But we've got the sun on the other side, just opposite the Gemini energy, saying, hey, go gather information. And don't forget, at this point in the month, Jupiter will have moved into Sagittarius as well. So he's at home. He's comfortable over there in a conjunction with the sun. We are gathering. We are sharing information. We're gathering information that's about the big picture in little ways. Now, this particular moon has also got a couple squares and oppositions going on with it. We've got a square going on with Mars. We've got an, op an opposition going on with Jupiter. So let's pop over really quickly and take a look at the chart, and then we'll talk through what all of this means for you this month, okay? All right, guys, here's our chart for the full moon happening at zero degrees of Gemini. Not a bad looking situation, right? But as we can definitely see, we've got some aspects that are going to be prominent to looking at um, this particular moon, okay? Now we see the aspects of Mars and Jupiter making these beautiful angles for us happening here. There are other um, aspects that you can obviously see in the chart, but we're going to focus on this big beautiful triangle that we've got going right here. Now, first and foremost, what is the full moon? The full moon happens when the sun and the moon are opposite each other, just like we see here. Here's our moon, here's our sun. They are in opposition to each other. So what that highlights within us are our oppositions, our needs versus our wants, my work versus my home, my little ideas versus the big picture idea, which is something we get to deal with with this particular moon, right? Now, because it is moon energy, one of the things we need to always be mindful and be aware of is that this does work on us at an emotional and subconscious level as well. But because it's a full moon, we have the opportunity to have this big span of illumination put on it, a big old spotlight put on some of these things, and we're able to see them a little bit more clearly, and they will make necessary adjustments, okay? Now, this moon is going to have a relationship and a tie to the um, moon that we had on November 7th, so that new moon happening in Scorpio. So let me ask you here, what did you put in motion at that new moon? Where was it happening in your chart? That moon was at 15 degrees of Scorpio. What was happening for you? Because you may have some more information by the time you get to this moon or the next few weeks here afterwards. So now that you kind of understand understand what this is about and you understand you can use this moon energy to make the emotional shifts, adjustments, bring closure to um, some things that are happening in your life. Not only just the things that are happening, you guys, how you're showing up and your responses to situations, right? Have you been responding the same way for a very long time? Maybe it's time to get a new response in an old situation, right? All right, now when we look at the actual astrology of this moon that is absolutely gorgeous, Gemini is a chatty Kathy, man. They like to talk, they like to socialize, they like to share information. So with this full moon here, we're trying out new things, we're meeting new people, there's new social things happening in our world. Um, 
Maybe there are new networking opportunities. There could be whatever it is. It's almost as if we're gathering information, gathering, gathering, gathering information, pulling it all together. Even if it's not super clear yet, we are gathering this information because what's going to happen is as we continue down the road this next few weeks, we're going to see that we've been open-minded enough right, with that Gemini energy, and we've been adaptable enough to different situations that we're going to have information that makes us more versatile in what we've got coming moving forward. Now, remember, we got to get new places and meet new faces in order to have new experiences, right? So if you're not out networking, if we're not letting people hear our voice, if we're not letting people... Um, know what we're thinking about or what we're studying. If we're not making these connections, we're really missing out at something at this particular point in the year. Now, because we do have this Gemini energy, as we see here with this moon, in a square to Mars who's over in Pisces, one of the first things this makes me think of is, first of all, Mars. Mars is our energy over here of action, right? He's action. I'm doing stuff. I'm energy. I'm movement. I'm war. I'm conflict. I'm assertion, right? We've got the moon over here in Gemini. He wants to speak. He wants to share. And I've got Mars here in Pisces. And this is a little bit of a passive energy. So that square energy there could actually be putting you in a position where you're feeling like you need to be speaking up about something, right? You need to be sharing something that's been going on. You need to be sharing a plan that you're trying to manifest into reality, right? Remember the square aspect, you guys. It's going to take you. It's going to put you under a whole bunch of pressure. It's like it's squeezing you down in a little box so that you will take an action to get out of it right? So we've got the moon that tells me this is emotional information, Gemini, and we're going to do something with it, Mars, in Pisces, and it's probably release, transition, right? End. So we've got a lot of ending energy here. So where I think this is actually really beautiful is that it may make you very brave this month. This may be a time where with this moon in this square to Mars, you're brave. You're like, I need to say this. I need to talk about these repressed feelings I'm having. I need to... Um, tell you about this event, this idea that I've got going on that I'm trying to move forward. Any anger, frustration, any of that stuff you've maybe been holding on to, this could be a time where it pops up. Remember, Mars is a very impulsive energy, so please be mindful with where you're pointing your words for sure this month because you don't want to get so brave and so ballsy, you know, that you go out and you say something or you go out and do something hastily that you honestly can't take back. Right? So try and do as little damage as possible, but sometimes you got to raise your voice and let them know what's going on. You really do. And that's okay. So see where something is maybe trying to come up and come out for you and you'll know. You'll feel yourself under some pressure. It's a hot energy, okay? Now, one of the other things I do want to just gently point out is this particular moon could have people outside of you um, kind of having an attitude with you. They've got something to say to you, and then you have to decide how to respond. Your moon is a response energy. How are you going to respond in the situation? Remember, Mars is in Pisces. You can take the action of compassion. You can take the action of forgiveness. Hell, you can take the action of just finding a creative new response to whatever is coming up or being presented to you, okay? All right, now we've got the moon in opposition over here to Jupiter, okay? Here's the deal. <clears throat> Jupiter is so big. He's so expansive, right? And he's home. He's in Scorpio. He's only been there for three, de three degrees. So he's just like relaxing, kicked off his shoes, you know, ready to just take a deep breath and do work here. But he's too comfortable, right now. He's too comfortable. All right. So he's very relaxed, very expansive, and he's in opposition to your moon. So what this tells me is that this can actually make you feel a little bit too expansive right? Maybe you're lacking your mouth. Maybe you're forgetting you've got to put a little temper on what is coming out of your mouth, right? Now, to the, um, 
to the positive, I think, of, of where this opposition works because oppositions um, are relational aspects. There's usually another person or something you feel torn about on the other side of an aspect. So maybe what's been happening is you've really been holding back the way that you feel or you've been like protecting it. You've had it behind a wall a little bit. And now your reaction is to share it a little bit more. Again, you see this theme of sharing what's going on with you with other people. It's a very social energy, right? Um, here's, a, here's a deal though. I will tell you, if you have and you're struggling currently with some kind of addiction, whether it be food, gambling, alcohol, drugs, um, work, whatever it is, this can actually kind of amplify that for you. But I think what happens is you are still stuck yet again looking at what, what is your response? You know, what are you doing? What's the actual reality of the behavior that you're in? And that is a really great place to see the truth and maybe move to um, a different place out of a negative habit, out of a negative beha behavior pattern, right? And you're so social, maybe it's time to get help. But ultimately, so far we've got these aspects right here, and these are some aspects that are making you wanna speak up about some things that are maybe going on and let more people in. Jupiter's expansive, let more people in, let more information in, right? Now, the last one I want to cover here is that we've got Jupiter, as you can see, in a square to this Mars energy. Now, this, remember Jupiter with his mouth, man. Sometimes Jupiter is just a little bit abrupt. He lacks a little bit of tact sometimes with what's coming out of his mouth, right? So you're under a square here. Again, this is pressure. And it's in a, in a square to Mars who's impulsive. Please watch your mouth, right? And when I say watch your mouth, I'm not saying people please. What I'm saying is you can say what you need to say. Just remember, whatever you say and however you say it, it's going to have a reaction. So say what you need to say, but have it be as productive as possible, right? And sometimes you just can't help it. Sometimes it just falls out of your mouth. I have had to clean up a couple of those in my lifetime. That's for sure, okay? <laughs> so this could definitely, again, points to an energy where you could be impulsive with your mouth or maybe somebody, again, is saying something to you. Now, one thing I do want to point out with this energy as well is that um, it can be a little bit of a defensive energy. And I just want you to remember you don't have to defend yourself, right? You need to just show up honest about a situation that happened, honest about where you're at. Don't worry about being embarrassed, right? That's not what this energy is about. Jupiter is big. It's expansive. So you don't have to defend. Instead, you have to let more information in. So please be mindful of all of those things, okay? This is definitely a full moon where I feel like you're going to say what you need to say. Say it with your chest out. Thank you, Kevin Hart. And we're going to get some things done because you're going to be speaking up for yourself. It's a brave, full moon. I actually am um, pretty excited to see how this works for everybody. Now, I've got the moon in um, Gemini in my chart. I've got the full moon in Gemini hitting my midheaven in my chart. So I'll be excited to see what this looks like on the other side. I always get awesome communications when there's a full moon anywhere near my money house or my midheaven. So We'll be, I'll be watching for brand new opportunities, I bet, right? So check this out where it's at in your chart. You want to look for zero degrees of Gemini on your chart to see where this is falling for you. And of course, there will be a live chat talking about this for each of the individual signs um, before the 22nd, okay? All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. If you haven't grabbed the video astrology 101 and 102 courses so you can study all of this stuff on your own, on your own time with me teaching you, click in the description box down below so you can scoop that up, all right? All right, guys, I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!